The following events were recorded as they happened at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. In this episode of Life's Little Miracles, Darian's chance to see and Cassandra's bone marrow transplant. Ten-year-old Cassandra has had surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation for germ cell cancer. Now, she must undergo chemotherapy so aggressive, it will destroy her immune system. Without a bone marrow transplant, even a simple infection could be fatal. So what we need to do is just get you up in the bed here. Today, Cassandra is being tested to ensure doctors she is strong enough to withstand the treatment that could save her life. If the bone marrow transplant is not successful, Cassandra may not survive. So what we're going to be doing is injecting a little bit of a radioactive material into the blood, and we're going to watch it as it goes into the kidneys to see how well the kidneys are functioning. So this is just to make sure everything's okay before. Yeah, we'll just give some an idea of how well the kidneys are filtering the blood. Oh. Yeah, this way. Yeah, do you want right me to count here. to three when I do it? Yeah. Cool. One, two, three. Good time. Oh. Oh. Start the pictures and there's no more pokes after this. Okay. okay, you did a good job, sweetie. Not so bad. You feel okay now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know. Wait for a Do you want to take it off? Yeah. Might as well be comfortable. I'm always falling off. She's like, come on. Come on. Okay, so you want me to put the movie on? Yeah. Great. That's okay. for about 20 minutes. Cassandra? Okay, so you know what's all about. It's just blowing test, all right? So we can ask mom to have a seat in the waiting room. Mm -hmm. All right, there's no needles or anything, all right? Okay. So put the mouth on. No slip on your nose. Now take a big breath in as big as you can and blow as long as you can out. Out, 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 out. Go, 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 and in again. <laughs> Excellent. Very good, Cassandra. Take it off. Relax. Okay. Darian Gervais Delaney is five weeks old and cannot see. He was born with opaque corneas in both eyes. Today, Darian will undergo a corneal transplant in the hope that his vision can be restored. Was he a full-term baby? No, he was uh, born six days ago. All right, that's within our range of full-term. Yeah. Up to three weeks before. You know what, sweet? I'm going to have to wake you up a little bit. I don't like to poke him while they're asleep, but... It's not going to open his eyes anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the yucky. Getting surgery this morning? Yeah. What time? It's supposed to be at Are you going to be okay to carry and press on his little thumb? Yeah. Okay, Daddy, when you get upstairs, just have the nurse take a look at it, okay? It should be fine, but yeah, just have it. Yeah, be careful. Thanks. There's everything. So, yes. Great. Are you all set? Yeah. Well, I'm comfortable because even I saw him the first time. I'm saying. He's gained a lot of weight. It's like a big boy now. Okay, do you have any questions you want to ask me beforehand? Which eye was it you're doing? The right one? You Usually I'll do the right eye first when the right both eyes have to be done. The right eye is the one that he doesn't open all the time. So as you know, his cornea, which is like the dome on the front of the eye, didn't develop properly. It didn't separate from the other structures. And as a result, he's got a big white spot in the center. Mm -hmm. And basically what I'm going to do is use a special knife and cut out the center white spot and put in a new one from a donor. But he'll just have the patch for one day. Come back when tomorrow morning. Tomorrow are we going to be able to see his pupil now? Should be able to, yeah. So you'll know right away then that the procedure worked or not? Yeah, initially, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, you know, it's the first step in uh, have a, a long eye. process. So do I bring him over here now? Or? No, no, just stay here for now. We're just waiting for some blood work. Right. Okay? Thank you. Okay. So for the next week or so, you'll be getting your chemotherapy. 
CRP, and you'll be in your step down room, which is room 63 that we showed you. On the day of your transplant, um, we're going to move you into an isolation room, and this is what it looks like. One thing that's different about our floor too, Cassandra, is the um, visiting policy that we have. If you are to have any visitors, they'll go out to our parent lounge. Okay. Okay. So yeah, they don't yeah. come past the doors. Yeah, they don't come past okay. those first two doors. Okay. The other thing is that any family members or friends that are visiting that have any sort of cold symptoms or are not feeling well, they really shouldn't come to the unit at all. Today we'll just start on some medications. The last dose of chemotherapy is going to be on Monday. Okay. So two days after that, she has her transplant. And then as soon as she gets a transplant, she's in isolation? Yeah, okay. you move her in the morning of it, and then in the afternoon, she'll get her transplant. So she'll be starting her chemotherapy around noon hour tomorrow. the operation as soon as it's finished I'll let you know. Okay. All right. Take good care of him. Thanks. I'll we'll see you later. All right. some of these adhesion. There we go. So now everything in a child just wants to come out of the eye as soon as you start. It's important to move quickly because the longer you wait, the uh, more the intraocular contents tend to protrude. Can we get the donor, please? run over an hour and we just cover it up because it's light sensitive okay and she's gonna get gravel in between if she needs it and she can have gravel or adivan or adivan makes her sick yeah yeah made her sick It's gonna look weird though, eh? After they take the patch off, one eye will look different than the other eye. Fine, ma'am. If you can see, you know. No. I know. Fine, ma'am. stitches till we have 16. If they're going to reject, they'll reject within the first six months. If you get beyond six months, then the cornea will usually stay clear at that point. Hi. So the colored part of the eye was stuck to the back of the cornea and we were able to peel that off. Mm -hmm. And the lens itself mm -hmm. is clear. There's no cataract there at this point in the house sometimes. So that means that all it was was the cornea, it was just clouded? Mainly, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, can I see him now or I They'll wait still? They'll come and get you when he's in the recovery room. Okay. And then a month from now we're going to take out the stitches in the right eye and we're going to operate on the left, left eye at that time. Okay. And then a month after that we'll Will you give, um, give him some he glasses. Needs, he needs drops and stuff, doesn't yeah. he? But you'll give me that we'll tomorrow. give you all of that stuff tomorrow. Okay. 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 That's great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yep, they're all off, so we'll heparinize you and then you can walk down to the new room. Okay, so we'll just have you stand up, Cassie, and I'll cover you with the sheet. 
There you can be a ghost for Halloween. <laughs> All right, here we go. Great. So all of us are going to wash our hands, if you're OK just standing for a minute. And then uh, we'll get you in the room, Cassie. I will take off your sheets. And this is how we get in. Here you go. You need to be wearing a gown if you're going to be touching Cassie at all. I and, was told, yeah, you yeah. can't touch Cassie because you can't hug her. Yeah. We avoid close, intimate contact, like face to face, so hugging and kissing. If you do touch your face or touch your hair, you should come out and wash, wash your hands your hand. again mm -hmm. before you would touch Cassie. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I can hold my hand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're all set. You might start to feel a little bit sleepy with some of the medications. Three o'clock, we'll do your reinfusion with your cells. Why don't you take your jacket off? Yeah. Walk up pretty quick, eh? can't touch it. Okay, here we go. So I have the stem cells here. They're going to go in over 15 to 20 minutes. With the pre-medications, the children usually sleep right, sleep right through, through it. Yeah. So has it started yet? No, it. Oh, it has? Oh, it did. Okay. She's anxious. Uh, she keeps saying, I wonder how my hair is going to come back this time. <laughs> And everything stayed really good through the whole thing. Yes. It's a big lead up. It's a big day. So oh, for we, sure. Now yeah. we just have to wait for the next week or two and see how she does. Okay. I'll let you sleep, kick ass. You're all done. temperature is 37.8. I know okay. that um, you spiked a temperature on the weekend and a lot of the times we don't always find an exact cause okay. of the fevers. It's something that's probably just inside of you and it's like an opportunist infection. Mm -hmm. It takes the opportunity when you don't have any white cells to fight it to jump up. <laughs> well, how long is that? They last until your white cells recover as well, actually. Are they starting to bother you? Yeah, for what? Um, anywhere between 14 to 21 days. So what we're looking for are your polys or your neutrophils are going to be greater than 0 0.5 for three days in a row. So what I'm going to do is take out the stitches and we'll check the other eye as well. That'd be a lot shorter today. Uh, yeah. yeah, shorter than doing the transplant for sure. But we, we do a bunch of measurements, so it does take, take um, a while. What well, we were going to ask you about the glasses, because uh -huh. sometimes the glasses may <clears throat> make the eyes worse. Isn't this prescription going to have to get stronger and no. stronger and stronger? You no, know, the glasses don't really make the eye worse. They just act as a focusing aid. He said he'll probably have to have more surgeries as he gets bigger. He may have to, he might have depending to. on how long the transplants work and if he has a rejection, things like that. Oh, he can still have a rejection? Even oh, yeah. like within like the next couple of years or whatever? Uh -huh. Okay, we'll see you in just a little while. Okay. Thanks. Okay, Gary, you ready to go? Okay, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
you up, okay? Let me take good care of this. Let me take my skirt. Oh. See you, Thank you. I'm just going to examine the transplant and make sure that it's okay. The cornea was cloudy before. Now we can uh, get a good look inside. Hi, Cassandra. You know that your count today is 0.5. Starting to go up. Yeah, it kind of hiccups at the beginning, you know. Yeah, so um, go up and down. we're seeing the beginnings of uh, the marrow starting to take hold and okay. coming back. I wouldn't be disappointed uh, if, for example, tomorrow's count comes back less than 0.5. You aren't getting out of here until oh, yeah, the, the neutrophils, neutrophils are, are greater Correct. than yeah. Uh, 0.5. Yeah, just to be sure. Yeah. Are you going to have a good weekend? You don't know. <laughs> Try. What I'm going to do is go around and take out every second one first. Okay, we're all done. I'm we'll just go and talk to the parents now. Yeah, everything looks very good. Both transplants are perfectly clear and the, the lenses inside the eye are clear. And I had a good look at the retina as well, which looks quite normal. That's great. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Is he awake yet? Do you know? They, they took him to recovery room already, so. so easy. Um, a little bit fussy. We'll see. see that you know all this. I know what you're How are you? Guy here. He just gave him a little tiny nip of uh, some medicine for pain. Did the first time he had it done, though, he was so quiet. All he wanted to do was sleep. And then last time, he just screamed. <laughs> he thought, no more. I'm sure he's probably hungry, too, so all of that comes into play. There. Isn't it great? Your white blood cell count today was six, and it was two yesterday. And your polys are 3.78 today, and they're only 1.12 yesterday. So let's go to your new room, okay? Okay. Let's just put that on. Unfortunately, you're stuck with that for a while. <laughs> you're in room 63 before, right? Yeah. Much better, right? Mm -hmm. Much better. <laughs> As soon as you leave the doorway, you have to have the mask on your face. Once, once you step foot back in the room again, you can take it off. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Nicely. Oh, he follows everything. That's a good one. I'm going to take a closer look. See what his eyes look like here. You guys never see him awake? Yeah, it's true. He's really awake today. You see the light? Good boy. What's he doing these days in terms of, of watching things? He follows mobile? everything. If he's eating and I laugh at him, he smiles at me. And That's great. He pays attention. Like, he'll lay in his crib now because his mobile's moving. I think that the chance of these transplants staying clear is excellent, probably about 90%. That's great. But even with glasses, his vision's not going to be 20-20. It'll be okay, though. It'll be, it, yeah. Not bad. Yeah, it'll be pretty good. That's good. Yeah. All right. Who's that? Say, Daddy. Who's that? Didn't turn out too thick. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's true, yeah, right? I thought they okay. were going to be super thick. Darren. <gasps> what did you do? Now that Darian has recovered from surgery and has his new glasses, he is able to see clearly for the first time. Doctors will continue to monitor Darian for several months, but are optimistic he will develop good vision. Just have to hold it there. Just leave it, it'll dry. Hi. Oh, you look so different. <laughs> I haven't seen you like this before. Oh, no? Cause she's getting out of here. Basically, all you needed was to get rid of me for a few days. And, uh, <laughs> and then, then out of isolation, I don't. <laughs> you know that from the white cell point of view, your white cells are there, but that uh, they're not functioning totally normally right now. Right. And they won't yeah. for 
probably the next year or so. Okay. We still have to be careful about infection, of course, right. and that's why you're on yeah. a lot of the, the medications. Um, medications. Years, yeah. But otherwise, you know, there's no reason to change any of her normal activities. Can I go trick or treating? <laughs> yeah, I don't see why not. I mean, as long as she you have the mask, the mask on, and you can probably work the mask into your costume, right? Actually, I'm yeah, be she's a doctor. Going as a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you happy about going home? I bet you are. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Bye. Say, hope to see you soon. Bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, actually, we don't. don't. Yeah. <laughs> After only three weeks in hospital, Cassandra is ready to go home. Cassandra has had a remarkable recovery from bone marrow transplant, and it is hoped she will continue to do well. On the next episode of Life's Little Miracles, Shannon's arthritis and Vishal's transformation.